This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. At this point in the sixth and final trial of Jesus, something very, very curious happens. It's in uh, verses 7 and 8. The Jews answered him, Well, we have a law, and according to that law, he ought to die because he's made himself the Son of God. And verse 8 says, When Pilate heard this statement, he was even more afraid. Why would Pilate have become more afraid? There is, uh, we'll look at this uh, next week, but Pilate's wife has a vision, and she sends a message to Pilate, says, look, I've had this vision, something's not right here. Be very, very cautious dealing with this man, Jesus. And she's very, very concerned, very upset about it. That in and of itself wouldn't have totally swayed Pilate but this verse says that he was more afraid why was he more afraid I'm not going to tell you today I'm going to tell you next week because next week's lesson next week's lesson I, 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 can, I can promise you that most of you have never heard this principle or this teaching, this concept about Pilate. And uh, you're going to be fascinated, I think, to look at it and learn about it. But what we're going to be looking at next week is how the world, now listen to this, it's kind of a two-part answer, how the world thinks of God and as a result, how they think of you. Do you realize that the world is intimidated by you? The world is intimidated by Christians. The world is afraid of Christians. And that's why they react the way they do. They hate God, but they're afraid of Him. They hate Christians, but they're afraid of Him. That's not something we should flaunt. It's not something to be proud of. But we're going to see next Sunday this fear factor. What is it? What was it that was driving Pilate? What, what was that fear? What was it that motivated him to, to begin doing the things that he was doing and to act the way that he was doing? What was that fear? Because when we can identify that fear, we can identify how most of the world reacts against God and against believers. So come back next Sunday. And if not, too bad. You will never know. <laughs> On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, 